So, Donald Trump endorsed Mitt Romney. Great. A rich megalomaniac endorsed a rich sociopath. Or was it a rich sociopath endorsed a rich megalomaniac? How does that not make you vomit in your mouth a little bit? Mitt Romney makes millions of dollars every year. Donald Trump makes millions of dollars every year. They aren't just the 1%, they're the top 1% of the 1%. In this election cycle, 47% of all PAC contributions have come from just 22 individuals. Out of the billions of dollars that have been spent on political speech this cycle, almost half of it has come from 22 people who are in the top 1% of the 1%. This in a year which has seen the most money spent by PACs ever in the history of the United States. Mitt Romney makes his money by buying and downsizing companies, laying people off. And since the economy has been in downturn, since American jobs have been shipped overseas, since jobs have been destroyed, since people have been being laid off, the rich have gotten richer. As our wages decrease, the rich get richer. As our manufacturing jobs are shipped overseas, the rich get richer. As our jobs are destroyed, the rich get richer. As our wages are suppressed, the rich get richer. Every worker who's laid off from their job, who sees their job downsized or outsourced, means more money for rich fuckers like Mitt Romney. And they're so blatant about it that now the super rich are endorsing the super rich for president. This reminds me of when Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich were going back and forth. Gingrich was attacking Romney for destroying jobs, laying off thousands of people, taking management fees, and posting the assets of the companies that he bought as collateral for loans, which he then left those companies on the hook for. All of which he collected not as income, but as capital gains, which is taxed at 15%, although he pays 13.9%. And then of course Mitt Romney fired back saying that Gingrich was working for Freddie Mac which helped create the whole credit crisis to start with. A company which created subprime mortgage farms which fucked over both poor people and investors. And while it looked like they were attacking one another, in reality they were just accusing one another of being really good at capitalism. How blatant does this shit have to be until you're out in the street with the Occupy Wall Street protesters? I guess it really doesn't matter because with people like Romney shipping all of our jobs overseas or just destroying them outright, and people like Gingrich creating shit financial products that fuck over middle class people's 401ks and also kick poor people out on the street. If you don't join us soon, you're going to be out on the street one way or the other. And Ron Paul, oh Ron Paul! The only difference between his economic policy and Romney's or Gingrich's is that Ron Paul likes to wrap it in flowery language about freedom and liberty. But it's the same Darwinistic bullshit as what Gingrich and Romney stand for. At least Gingrich and Romney have the honesty to let us all know that they believe in fucking over as many people as possible for as many dollars as possible. Although it could be that Newt Gingrich just believes in fucking as many people as possible. I mean, he just, he can't keep it in his pants. Open marriage joke. In other news, Donald Trump, the mega-rich megalomaniac who was going to endorse Gingrich and is now endorsing Romney, is pushing in a legal fight to create a burial plot on his private golf course. At the same time, in Cooks County, Illinois, people who are too poor to afford to die are stacking up like cordwood in the county morgue. Bodies are being left out unrefrigerated, left to rot, wrapped in trash bags and tarps, later buried in mass with no grave markers. Why? because of austerity measures. Apparently there's no money left for us to bury our dead because we have to make sure that rich fucks like Mitt Romney don't pay a dime more in taxes. God forbid some millionaire out there pay a dime more than 15% of millions of dollars every year. So while the top 1% of the 1% are currently engaging in legal battles so that they can change the laws so they can do whatever they want, like having them and their super rich friends get buried on a private golf course. Austerity cuts mean the poorest amongst us are literally being treated like landfill waste. Did you like this video? Please donate what you think it was worth in the link below. Please also be sure to click the like button. If you want to help me continue to produce videos like this one, please become a monthly sustainer over at punkpatriot.com. I make t-shirts.